In this video, we're going to be looking at communication. So why does communication matter? Communication is the process of transferring information and meaning between senders and receivers using one or more written, oral, visual, or electronic channels. The essence of communication is sharing, providing data, information, insights, and inspiration in an exchange that benefits both you and the people with whom you are communicating. Communication skills will be essential to your success at every stage. You can have the greatest ideas in the world, but they're no good if you can't express them clearly and persuasively. Ambitions and great ideas aren't enough. You need to be able to communicate with people in order to succeed in business. As you take on leadership and management roles, communication becomes even more important. The higher you rise in an organization, the less time you will spend using the technical skills of your particular profession, and the more time you will spend communicating. Many employers express frustration at the poor communication skills of many employees, particularly recent college graduates who haven't yet learned how to adapt their communication styles to a professional business environment. If you learn to write well, speak well, listen well, and recognize the appropriate way to communicate in any situation, you'll gain a major advantage that will serve you throughout your career. To make your communication efforts as effective as possible, focus on making them practical, factual, concise, clear, and persuasive. You should provide practical information. Give recipients useful information, whether it's to help them perform a desired action or to understand a new company policy. You should give facts rather than vague impressions. Use concrete language, specific detail, and information that is clear, convincing, accurate, and ethical. Even when an opinion is called for, present compelling evidence to support your conclusion. You should present information in a concise, efficient manner. Concise messages show respect for people's time, and they increase the chances of a positive response. You should clarify expectations and responsibilities. Craft messages to generate a specific response from a specific audience. When appropriate, clearly state what you expect from audience members or what you can do for them. You should offer compelling, persuasive arguments and recommendations. Show your readers precisely how they will benefit from responding to your message the way you want them to.